Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started then since we're 1237. I'm going to introduce myself real quick. I'm not important here. I'm just Jay Lickus with Benavia. I uh, kind of put these workshops together. And the most important person you're going to meet today is Kate Sauert, correct? Okay. And with uh, Geriatric Resources, she's our expert presenter and preferred partner with Benavia. And uh, like I was telling everybody in the room, we have kind of changed the format a little bit about our workshops, called them lunchtime learning. I uh, made them 30 minutes long to make them quicker, more accessible, bullet point topics, get right to the point. You folks get the information you need, and then we open up the floor for questions. And that can go as long as Kate wants to hang out. So we, we're here to uh, you know go over your issues, see what kind of questions and problems you're having in your life. And uh, don't be bashful, I always recommend that. And uh, this is your opportunity to uh, get some clarity on these problems. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, uh, the, the resources for living independently and uh, how uh, we can help you do that. So with that said, I'm going to move the camera over so you can see everybody in the room. I won't make everybody introduce themselves, but they, you can wave if you like. But Kate, I'm going to get this focused on you so we can see it. There's Kate. Hi, everybody joining on Zoom. Thank you for being here. Uh, I do want to say that there's a handout, which will be key to the discussion. Jay can send you a copy conceivably on email or we'll put it on the screen. But I, I did this so that we're going to go through it rather quickly so that if you had any questions, you can give me a call. I've got my phone number there because this is such a big topic. I, you know, I could talk all day, just ask Jay, he'll confirm that fact, but it's all good. we're going to try to keep, uh, you know, really within that 20 minute time frame to then give questions to all of you. So when we talk about living independently, this may sound like a cliche, but it's just so true. If you can optimize your physical health and your mental health and your social connections, I, I kid you not, we have proof, many studies that say this improves the likelihood of being able to remain independent in our homes for longer. So I have 10 things on the list as the title uh, promised. And the very first one is Benavia. Now I have to tell you, it's not like they're paying me. I'm just a huge fan. Benavia offers so many opportunities, classes, volunteer, information of all kinds, including seminars like this. So if you haven't had the chance to really jump in and do a deep dive, uh, if you like websites, please get on their website. If not, give a call and set up an appointment to find out all the ways that Benavia can benefit you. I say this because the more we know about what's in the community, the more we know where to look when we sometimes need help. Now, help, I know, is a four-letter word, and there are people who understandably have a reaction to that. My mom used to say that when you need help, the phone suddenly weighs 500 pounds. We don't like to have to ask for help, and yet inevitably we're all going to need it at one time or another. So starting to get yourself familiar with the many things that happen in the Valley to support people across the lifespan, from birth until older adulthood. Benavia is your first stop, in my humble opinion. I do have, though, on number two on the list, is an organization called Duet. And I have not had firsthand experience with this group, but they, they started from the Church of the Beatitudes in Phoenix, which is kind of an old, uh, you know, classic in the Phoenix area. What they do, and it's fascinating, is they pair you with a volunteer who can work with you one-on-one, -on -one, whether it be shopping or maybe even going to the doctor. Uh, now, it's a long shot. They won't always have the perfect fit for you, but I think it really is worthwhile. The reason I say this is because when you are trying to get information, let's say online, and looking at websites. I do it for a living and my eyes start to roll back in my head 
before too long. So I think having another person in the room who can visit with you, find out what you really need, get on the phone and, and do some of the talking so that you can just listen and kind of take it in. So that's something to me that is very appealing. They have people who want to volunteer and if they can match you one-on-one, -on -one, then you've got your person, which we're going to come to at the end as well. Has anyone heard of Duet? No. I know. One, okay. And, and certainly Jay has. But I, I'm just so intrigued by that model. I have a number of students who want to do that kind of work with people and they don't know where to go. So this is, this is one of those options to, to link everybody up. Now, my third list of the 10 is the Area Agency on Aging. Now, I have to tell you, this organization, this comes from the United States government. Don't let that scare you. Um, there's an area agency on aging in every major metropolitan area and, and many less major ones. For starters, they have a lot of information about benefits that you might be eligible for through the government over and above one's social security. They also, as I understand it, are the all. Uh, well, they're the Meals on Wheels agent in that classic sense. This is when you have to qualify for it. You have to meet certain criteria, uh, you know, sometimes income wise. I think they have a sliding scale. But while we're on that topic, I just learned from Jay, because I come to Benavia, I just heard from him that there is another Meals on Wheels organization, Meals of Joy. Meals Jay? of Joy. Yes, here in the Northwest Valley. And that's in the Northwest Valley, but there, there are options that we sometimes don't realize are there. If your appetite is just kind of eat, eat, or shopping or cooking has become boring, a lot of times our nutrition starts to suffer for it. So getting even one meal a day that you know is nutritionally balanced can be a very big thing. So air, that's just one of many things. But Area Agency has a phone number 24 hours a day that you can call and inquire to get some information. So that's number three. I'm watching myself on time here because I, I'm very aware of people's time. There's also, by the way, a nonprofit in Sun City, a smaller group I found online. They do charge for the meals, but it's $8.50 for two meals. They ask that you at least do that once a week. But you know, that could be kind of an anchor if that's within your, your budget, because it gives you, you know you're going to get a couple of meals that it might be easier for you to supplement and augment with other things. So now we get on to perhaps my favorite part. Those first three steps, by the way, were local resources right here in the valley that we know are so wonderful. The next three steps on the handout, I'm calling individual action steps because this is available to anybody. And this is where self-help and taking care of our health comes in. So my number four top 10 resource is taking care of ourselves. We know now that dementia has modifiable risk factors. And what are the things that wind most people up in assisted living? Dementia, a bad fall, or other possible problems that result from a chronic illness, let's say. When we're no longer able to do our activities of daily living, that's when living independently becomes very tenuous. And so looking well with your doctor or provider at hypertension, at alcohol use, at diabetes being managed properly, weight, depression, now, we hear this stuff all the time, but what we know now is those five factors can contribute to the onset of dementia, and that sure gets your attention. So uh, for starters, finding ways to really expand your self-care game. My fifth point is to make your house fall proof. Falls are the bane of our existence in adult care. They truly are. And But when I say that, it's not to shame anybody for falling, because you know what? Gravity pretty much always wins. I was in the grocery store. I very carefully stepped around a cart to look at something in the frozen section, and I became so enthralled that when I turned around, fell flat on my face. So it can happen to any of us. 
But the point is, in our homes, 70% of falls happen in the home. We often have obstacles. It could be clutter. It could be not enough light. It could be a pet that we love. We're not saying that you have to change anything drastically, but having someone, your person, come into the house and say, hey, there's a fall risk right there. You might trip on that. Or, hey, why don't we find a place to put the dog dishes that are less likely to clash when you come into the kitchen? Sometimes it's just those little things to prevent falls and to declutter our surroundings. And then number six, we could do a whole seminar on this. But number six is to make connections. Truly, as we age, and, and when I lived in New York City, aging was a whole different ball game because all you had to do was walk down the stairs and get on the bus so you could go wherever you wanted. We don't have the benefit always of mass transit in the Valley. So when we stop driving, we sort of stop interacting with the world. And so important to do. Benavia helps people on so many levels to get where they need to be, including getting here and back again. So looking into ways to connect with other people. It's very understandable if you are not a group kind of person. I understand that. Given my druthers, I like to be one-on-one -on -one usually with people. But that goes back to our duet suggestion, where we find a person who can just help you to really take advantage of the resources that are out there. Um, so we're up to number seven now, and I know it's going fast, but it's all about the handout where we have both website information, phone numbers, the whole thing. But let's go ahead and move on. Now we're looking at national resources. So these are organizations that serve the entire country, not just our local area. And the first is the National Council on Aging. Now I chose them out of many national organizations because I loved their website. It was easy to navigate and they had really practical tips, including this month, fall prevention and shoe wear and the benefit of getting a balance assessment from a physical therapist. Full disclosure, I'm a physical therapist. And so naturally I'm a fan of what we do, but there, there are a number of standardized tests that a physical therapist can do on you to assess your balance, which is a very big indicator of the likelihood for falls. So that's a website that I thought was really worth looking into and we do have their address there. Next is ARP, A-A-R-P, which a lot of us have heard about. A lot of us have insurance policies through ARP, but ARP also has a wealth of information. And I find that their website is very accessible. So for instance, this week, they're talking about COVID and about the flu and what should our timing be getting those vaccines. They've got just practical information right away. Um, they also have information about finances which for all of us as we're getting older weighs on our mind because we don't have just endless amounts of resources. So we have to be wise about the way we spend and use our resources. So they had some great ideas. Number nine is the Elder Care Locator. Now this is an organization which again, puts caregivers and older adults in touch with resources they may not know they were qualified for. There's so much information out there that it's almost a problem because when you have that much, it's hard to know where to start. But the Elder Care Locator website, for instance, had adult and aging support services. They had discussions about housing and elder rights. If you are living, let's say, in an apartment and suddenly your rent is going through the roof, this is an organization you can call and get some legal advocacy advice from. They also talked about caregiver support, because if anyone here or out in Zoom land is taking care of a loved one, you know that caregiving is exhausting and you sometimes need a little bit of help and a little bit of respite. So the Elder Care Locator website is very helpful in that regard. And at this juncture, I want to spend the rest of our time uh, before opening up to questions 
talking about finding your person. Now, you may have a spouse, you might have an adult child, you might have a neighbor or a good friend who accompanies you on medical visits or can help you to navigate websites. But you know, a lot of the time, if we don't have that person immediately in our lives, we don't think about reaching out and finding such a person, someone who really can sit with us and make a list of our needs and priorities, and then help us drill down to find out how to get it solved. I was on the phone for an hour and a half one day with my mother-in-law trying to get her computer service back on. And again, I do this for a living, but that length of time can become exhausting. So having a person there who can help you is crucial. And there are any number of organizations that can help that to happen. Benavia is a great place to start to give you some ideas about what their volunteer services offer. But there's also the notion of going back to number two, this duet organization. If they can't help you, I will bet they know somebody who can. If you are so inclined toward faith communities, invariably there is a group or organization within almost any church that has adults who are very willing to help share their expertise and give you some assistance in just fine tuning a care plan for yourself. And when I say a care plan, making your house safer, making sure you're taking your medications properly, making sure you're drinking enough water. Do you know that 50% of emergency room admissions, the people who arrive there as older adults are dehydrated. And when we're dehydrated, all manner of things go wrong. For starters, confusion and loss of balance, which guess what, can lead to a fall. So these are the kinds of things, these multifactorial things that keep us safer in our home that are kind of hard to do on your own. So locating that extra person is just incredibly important. And again, we're aware that it's a very busy time in the world and we don't always want to ask a neighbor or a friend that we know. It sometimes helps to just get someone who has themselves volunteered to do this, to sit and work with us. And if your adult children are a tad on the inpatient side, you know, which does happen, sometimes again, a third party makes it much easier to drill down to what we need to do. So finally, I have one more thing to add. It's actually number 11. I'm not cheating so much as I'm saying this is an honorable mention. And this is proof that you, you think you know what's available to older adults. And I thought I did, I work in this area. And I discovered there is a program through uh, Medicare. It's called the PACE program. Here's the good news, it's an amazing program. Here's the bad news, it's not available in Arizona. Oh. But I bring it up, I bring it up because you might have a friend living in one of the qualified states who doesn't know about this. PACE is an organization that creates entire care centers of outpatient services that really allow people to stay in their homes when otherwise they just couldn't do so safely. Um, we, we don't have it again in Arizona, sadly, but there are states that do. And I listed the states on the handout that don't have it so that if you do know someone in those other areas, they may not know about it. So this just goes to show you that there are resources, abundant resources, but we can't know them all. So starting with an organization like Benavia, and this is their job to be aware of what's available to you. They have a list of partners that they have vetted very carefully so that if you, anyone in the service area, have a need that you're not sure where to start, Benavia can point you in some directions. When they've done that with our organization, very frequently we'll talk to someone and say, you know, you don't need me so much, but here's who could help you. And, and that this whole community is so beautiful about that. No one's looking to sort of be grabby. Everybody wants to get the right thing for you. 
the right resources for you. And so starting with Benavia is just a wonderful thing. Get on the phone if you're not big on looking at the website and say, you know, I kind of like to find out a way to make my home safer. Who do you have over there? Or, you know, my husband's getting a little bit weak and I'm worried about him and I don't want to leave him alone. Who do you have over there? My mom's home and she's okay most of the time, but I worry about her in the shower. Who, who do you have? Well, Benavia knows who and can, can certainly give you uh, a good start to that. I, I just want to say again that nobody's getting any younger and gravity works the same on everybody. So we aren't going to be able to avoid all accidents or all problems. But to the extent that we can optimize our environment and give ourselves extra resources so that we stay safer, the odds of staying in our homes and living on our own terms increase. And, and honestly, you know, often if it was another person, we would do more to help them than we would do to help ourselves. I don't know about you, but that's a really common thing among many of us in older adult services. So I'm talking to myself too, when I say these things, that uh, we're all prone to things going wrong and it's easy to overlook a health problem or think, oh, I'm okay. I can't tell you the number of times my mother-in-law has said, I don't wanna go to a doctor. What if they tell me something bad? And I'm like, well, you know, mom, not knowing about something bad sure doesn't help the situation either. So. Sometimes we just have to really sit down and write out a plan of what we need in our lives to make us feel healthier and make us feel safer. So that's my 20 minutes. Whew. That's amazing. That was hard. I'm not kidding. I could do this all day, as I say. But I would like to now just open up to questions, anything on the handout, anything Jay could tell you. Thank you, Kate. That was amazing. Um, I got to tell you one thing, I don't agree with you. And you were talking about, you know, go see your doctor, not being facetious here, but it's like, you know, you can, you never know you're sick until you go to the doctor. Because <laughs> they tell you, right? It's like, oh my gosh, you know, I didn't know that. Well, you know, so. Jay, it's true. They, it's a little conflict of interest there, isn't yeah. it? Because they want to, they want you in the door. <laughs> Well, every time I go, I say, doctor, whenever I do this, it hurts. What does the doctor say? Don't, don't, don't do that. that. <laughs> exactly. we, just, we just channeled Groucho Marx into yeah. the room, which I love. Okay, um, any questions? Let me direct myself first to the Zoom crowd. Make sure you click on your microphone button so you're not muted. Can you do a little prompt? Oh, where am I? Why not close me? Any questions? Don't be bashful now, folks. This is all about you. There it is. You're looking to unmute. Well, I will start by saying this. There is a ton of information on the handout, which Jay can email to you, and we can put up on the screen perhaps as well. How about here in the room? Any thoughts or better yet, any experience of any of these services that you would share with us? I have one of those. <laughs> um, unfortunately, my, I think it was more the timing than anything else, but uh, when my better half died, I went, I knew a lot about, I, was, I used to volunteer here oh, for right. a long, long time. Well, so you look awful familiar. Yeah, yes. I've been, yeah. It's been about five years though since I was at Storative the whole time oh, too. fantastic. Yeah. Well, I remember meeting again. you when you were working for, oh, what's the gal? She's gone now. No, I'm kidding. She was head of marketing. Jennifer Lawless or what? Taylor? Taylor. The Taylor Bird. I, I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had talked to her a lot. But I know, I, I used to know a lot of people here. I still, of course, know Courtney and a bunch of them. But uh, anyway, uh, this is this is really really good, Kate, because I'm taking it on myself 
because I, I'm one of those people that has no one. And that is really, really bad. You too. Okay. So for two plus years, I have been trying on my own to get help. When it was during COVID, uh, I couldn't even get a call back from area agency manager. Um, and I knew that Ben Leo was having a rough time. I did talk with them. I didn't get any info from them much at the time. I talked to, I went, I, then I found out through, I was given the name of Marty Finley. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Marty's great. Everybody that does any of this work that I have come in contact with over, over, over two years knows Marty Finley. She is with Banner Sun Health. Sun Health and she's Banner, a memory care navigator. Banner Sun Health. Now they, she, <laughs> she is really something. She's a powerhouse. And uh, for instance, she said to me, this is, I talked to her almost a whole two years ago. And then I talked to her a little bit after that. And she's the one that said, do you have, do you have a neurologist? And I said, as a matter of fact, I don't, but I've been thinking that would be a good idea. You have to have a neurologist and here are some people and golly, I said, I'll go get one of those right now. And boy, I did. <laughs> oh, that's great. And I mean, uh, even uh, I knew um, our nurse, uh, Sherry Wagoner here, that was stored in for years. I suppose you met her once or two, twice along the line. I saw her not too long ago and she used to work for Marty. <laughs> so, I mean, Marty owns this town. I, I mean, it's, it's a riot, but really, I think, I think their service might be pretty good. You're so sure. right. And, you know, and that's one of the ways you find Marty is through Benavia. Yeah. <laughs> that's why, I, because the list is, I mean. See her at least once every week. You sure do. I, I haven't ever met her. Exactly. Okay. But, I mean, that would be something that, is that through Sun Health? Sun Health, Sun yeah. Health. Caregiver, their office is on Grand Avenue. Yeah, yeah I've been there. Oh, right, 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 right back behind the Hampton. I misspoke. They're not banned, yeah, are yeah. they? Well, it's Sun Health. So it's, it's oh, like the oh, oh, man, no. It's Sun. Well, they're, they're yes. all the same. It's oh, oh Sun Health. That's they are. Yeah, good. Okay. But when they bought the hospitals and they spun them off and things like that. Oh, I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. That all happened. Yeah, yeah, I'm still not clear. Cool, but um, I know that and what, her, her um, title is Memory Care Navigator. Among other things, I, I, she probably has many, uh, you know, titles, but that's how she identifies herself when, see, all of us yeah. meet, all the providers who mm -hmm. are part of Benavia meet online monthly too, so that we can keep oh, up with, you know, know, kind of what's happening. Yeah. So, yeah, some help put me in touch with this Northwest. Northwest Valley Connect? Yeah, yeah. For transportation? Yeah, because I was needing a... Uh, uh, help you know driving somewhere and, and I went right to that place to you have to register and they're very helpful very helpful okay. they send you you don't have to pay but they send you an envelope for a donation later but I think I used them when I had cataract surgery twice oh that's excellent. actually a spin off of Benavia well once again we are doing the transportation that's and right. we got oh, together with oh. Sun Health and pulled our resources yeah. and developed Northwest Valley. Yeah, they are, they are really fine. See, and I didn't know that. I've heard the name, but that tells you right there that that there are so many things out there. The, the key, I think, is having that extra person. I also happen to believe, no matter how old you are, that if you're going to the doctor, you shouldn't do it alone. There should be someone else in the room mm -hmm. who can kind of take notes for you. Now that's easier said than done. You can't always find someone who's available, but if you can do it, that person can write down everything the doctor's saying so that you can just speak with your provider. I, I feel strongly about that. that when you can do one of them to 
when you came, when you hit on that, I said, now that's something I wish I had. And I was the, for my mother and my father, I was, and actually for other people too, but um, that having, having that advocate yeah. is uh, priceless. And I don't have one. So I, I am, I have a question on this duet, and mm -hmm. it's from Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Are they based in Phoenix, or are there people that volunteer all mm -hmm. over? Somebody who lives in some city west might come out and be that one person, or do they all come from Phoenix? We are kind of the mirror image of duet. Um, we do a lot of the same services here at Benavia that they do. We do probably twice as many. I mean, they don't have a nursery or a preschool no. or like support group things and stuff like that. But we work with them so closely. But so they well, are. You have to contact the church at the Beatitudes in order no, to find this. No, no, no. Duet is right available online, but they, they only work from like the I 17 East. Oh. And we do everything on this side. So we're, right. the, we're the West Valley, they're the East oh, Valley. Oh, okay. So really, this is. But they do. I would call Benavia. That's call why Benavia is yeah. number one. <laughs> you know what? We, you call us. And if we're, you know, if it's a different part of the, the area, the valley, we call and say, just talk to the folks over at Duet. And it goes back and forth. We do programs together with them. I mean, we do so much similar okay. as far as our programs. So doing that, I would call them to be, and whoever answers it, I would say, I, I'm interested in the Duet. I'm getting Sometimes the call doesn't, the, the person at the desk doesn't even know what they've got. Well, that's a great segue. If I, if I could be so bold, and I, I don't want to make this a Benavia presentation because it's not, it's about you folks, but we have what's called our care department here, right? And Kate and her company, Geriatric Resources, is one of our preferred partners. But we have an office right here in our gym, our adaptive gym. We have one in Sun City West. We have one in the Peoria Community Center. And all these folks do is field calls from folks like us have, who have questions. And I always tell people, you don't know where to turn call. So what we did about a month ago, because we're trying to make ourselves more accessible, more adaptable to the community, easier to use overall. We went and got a phone line for our CARES department. So it used to be you would call our main office and talk to Annette up front and keep go, okay, I'll put you in touch. Sometimes that would take a day. You know, I mean, I apologize for that. We try to do it as quick as possible. Now we have a CARES number which is a direct line dedicated to that program. There's five women in that program right now, and maybe one guy. The phone rings, this number rings all their phones at once. So if we were the CARES people and somebody was calling, all our phones would be ringing at once. Somebody picks it up automatically. So I'll, I'll give you that number. It's 623-526-4404. Uh, and that goes right to their number. So no more waiting for 526-4404. That's our CARES department. And not only do we have our preferred partners, which are about 20 of those, which we work with 20 to 25 in different parts of the senior community, but we have thousands of resources we work with on a daily basis. And I think the greatest thing Kate said, I keep forgetting to turn around and say hi to everybody, but I, I, the presentations I do and the talks I do and the same thing like we're doing here, I always say, build yourself a team. Get somebody around you, whether it's a close family member that you can truly trust or a neighbor you can trust or somebody at your church or congregation you can trust, but ask them to be part of your team. So if you have one, two or three other people with you, it makes life that much easier. You can talk to them, ask them for advice, Go to the doctor's offices, like you said. It helps with transportation. It helps with socializing. I mean, you you hit on every key thing that we don't have as a senior population. And what you so hit on every cylinder. yeah every cylinder because I've just been I'm I am poster child for the whole family. Please Cindy. remind me of your name, Cindy. Cindy, you said it, and I like I said right out the minute I heard. it. Cindy, you are that person who has been that person. Yes. For your parents and now myself. Husband. And yeah, it doesn't occur to us that, hey, you know what? I need a person. <laughs> it's time for me to find a person. And and that's what I loved about um 
Well, but everything Benavia does. The duet program just appealed to me because of that one-on-one. -on -one. Well, Benavia can do the same thing. They can help you locate that person. So important. And we do, we, we are rugged individualists in the United States. And I think we tend to be rather self-sufficient and, and we don't hang out in groups as much as we used to do. Mm -hmm. So we do sometimes have to make that explicit point of finding somebody, as Jay says, and building that team. Everyone in this room has been on somebody else's team. Every one of you have too. I'm sure of it. You've helped people who needed it and you would just do that automatically. Well, there are people there now for you. It's just a question of finding them. Well, let me add, because this was your original question, who has any other people to add? I've been at this for two years and not doing terribly well. I did talk to people, I did talk to uh, geriatric resources. Uh, in, I talked to do your receptions. Okay. She she gave she she a, a lot. She could give you a lot of answers. But the one that I have finally gotten some help from is Hospice of the Valley, their new department, the education department, over on 44th and in Manola. And I have <laughs> I I don't know how I, I think it was divine intervention because I don't know how they even got my name. I don't know why they called me. But one day, uh, about six, eight months ago, Christina called me. And she has come once a month to be with me, help me out with stuff. Um, then I went over there to see their, their oh, their, they have a beautiful place over there. And they've done what, what you here had done for years at Benvia, Jay. They have that uh, daycare. They're not calling it daycare, but they, they have that going on over there uh, a couple of days during the week. And Christina wanted me to go and go to it. And I said, well, that's weird, Christina, because that's what I used, that's what I did for Benavia for 10 years. I was working there. I wasn't the I wasn't the uh, uh, patient, the, the receiver of <laughs> that's pretty fun. And oh, oh, it was hilarious. And I thought I, I thought I knew when I went, I thought I knew it was going. Yeah, first time. You know how I got there? I went all the way to the airport and went to the airport and then went up 41st Street because I knew that way. Oh, oh it's two oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. 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 two. Oh, because that's way south and way east. Yeah. No kid. So anyway, yeah, it's a job. So I went there and I and I hung out there, but I I ended up feeling still. I just wasn't that far into the. The Alzheimer's, and that's mostly what they had there. And uh, so I did go back a second time, though, because I, I won't give up. <laughs> and uh, I, but after that, that second that time that I went, uh, there was a gal in the room, and I looked like a deer in the headlights, and she talked to me. Well, okay, shorten the story now. Helena. Uh, this past Friday, took me to, uh, I need to maybe start, I thought I better start looking at independent uh, living along with assisted and then memory always care. possibly memory care. Right. And, you know, and mean. that's a, that's a key for people like me who don't as much as I've known about things through Benavia, that's, I know what a big deal that is. And I don't, I right now don't know where to go. Now she decided, I think she decided because she said, let's wait a while longer. Um, and I think her reasoning is that it's not that she's not going to help me, but I think that she wants to do it when I'm gonna be more likely to be closer to needing it. I don't know. And I didn't want to do that to her. I, I didn't say that to her. There's a placement center on Grand that helps you with that too. It has well, a, there it's are, like an umbrella of all the independent care places. Well, there. one of the people that used to be uh, a involved, place, me, what are they called? A place, well, there's a place for mom. There are a lot of them. And there but there's, there's a place on Grand somewhere. And I can't 
Oh, tell me exactly where it is. Okay. So and Benavita has you? a bunch of services yeah. too. They do the sale No, no Shane mentioned something specific that well, uh, they can uh, find you. Yes, it, it's a senior placement center. And I don't That's know what the, uh, place somewhere in the brain. for possibly independent living. Sun Help might know that. You know, in that strip where Sun Help is located. I like wanted someone to me to that having that advocate. Well, Jane and I have visited several. Places. Have you? We've had oh. lunch at a few places. Oh, that's, that's a good idea. idea. I just went to one all together, but so she's going to get back to me later. I'll go with you. Now look at that. Yeah, see right here, and that yeah. is. I have key. not gone anywhere. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Do you have? Do you think you'd like to? Are you in any need of it? Or no, you want to be no, but, but like yeah. I do. No, I, I'm not in any need of it now, but um, I had a stroke, and, oh. and so it, a big awareness bell, yeah. you know, right? Exactly, exactly. Right. The one in back of Sam's is huge. But, <coughs> see, I can't walk all that far. You know, you park here, your room is here, you eat here. It's so much walking in those places. Mm -hmm. You can't have a hard time doing that. But, so, but that friendship or fellowship village in back of Sam's is for... Friendship village? Yeah. Oh, that's very nice. I went to that? morning. They're a little costly. What is that? It's, uh, it's, a, it's a full. I want to know what it is. You almost have to go there. Well, there is. Do you, do you folks know about um, placement agents? Yeah, we were talking what, about that. What, have you ever heard of placement that's agents? That's what I'm talking about. There. No, oh. that's okay, see, there, this, this, there, there is a. There are organizations. Um, folks, may, a lot of times it's just individuals who work with themselves because they've been in the you know, senior yeah. industry, and that's what they do. They have visited, vetted, been in and out of, and done a thousand transactions with every independent assistant. There's a lot. I'll give you some names. The only one the I know this place for mom, but I think they get a little a, bit of a cut that, if you go in. That's a national company, and I, I'm not going to say nothing they, bad about it, but that is like a used car lot for them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we've I, got, I gotta get my oh. list. We've got an educational coming up, a couple of them with those folks. And there's some amazing folks that do a great job with that. You don't have to pay them anything. That advertising sounds great, are so expensive. Yeah, that no, no, these are free. These are free. These the, the placement agents are free. But well, you're talking about the individual. No, I'm talking about the individual yeah. placement. Oh, well, yes, they're yes, they're very well fellowships. I will send you guys everybody a list of Agents to, you know, if you um, would go in there and just say, I want a brochure, can I make an appointment? They'll fall over. The uh, Rita, yeah. uh, Rita McBride is a great example. I met her years ago. Yes. Because she was coming to, mm -hmm. uh, in fact, I have talked to her several times. So I can give you, I can give you her number also. What is that? Rita McBride. What she, is she? she runs that agent, one of those a agents. Placement. A placement agency for, yes. for uh, if you're going to be looking for independent. Uh, I mean, yeah, well, my sons want me I to know. like do the research. Okay, right. They don't need it now. It doesn't hurt. And sure. and they think I'm I'm gonna live to be a hundred and all this kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be prepared. Okay, yeah. that that's why I'm always so good. I will go then. Okay, well, yeah. 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 you have uh, an invitation to lunch too for Jane and I went to one that was beautiful outside. Yeah, which is terrible. It was just awful. Yeah. They might have had an off day, but I don't think so. I don't like their the program the way they do it. You brought up something so important, and that is cost. Yeah. So that when yeah. you look at your own financial resources, mm -hmm. you can tell this to the placement agent to say, "Listen, yeah. here's what I anticipate I'm going to have yeah. per month." And they've Let's all gone up. Stay in that window. Oh. Oh. And as food has gone up, that's right. Gone up. That's, that's exactly right. Cool. That was if you could find one at $3,500 a yeah, month, call me. A that, <laughs> that's the number. That's kind of my magic number yeah. that I got you when should. I went to Morningstar. I've like, been so to a yeah. lot of them that are yeah. uh, flirting with the $4,000 a month now. Oh, you can go with six. I don't well, not independent care. Even you're saying not independent care. Yeah. I'd like wow. you to go to Scott. Those yeah. places are just well, like <laughs> resorts. Yeah. And they're not yeah. resorts. So just, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. The same in New Hampshire and in New Jersey. So it's so um, national. And I think there are even more of these. I know they're in Chicago because I oh, live in Chicago where all my family is. So I made nine at home. 
And yeah. they, yeah. <laughs> well, Rose, yeah. I also want to point out that Arizona has a unique program called Arizona Long Term Care, which means that you meet with someone with a fiduciary and you say, Well, I have X amount of money. And when it has, you know, sort of dwindled to a certain degree, then you've done the work in advance, you're being proactive that that program will take over for you. And there are many, many places that accept okay. Arizona long-term care. It's called all text. Okay. So you're not well, just well, going to be on the sidewalk. There, there are ways oh, to yeah. all Is that a free consultation? Okay. Um, well, you know, it's again, PEC. Okay. There you are. And the, 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 the placement the people level. will know okay. who okay. accepts okay. all text. And there's, is it an attorney? It's a state yeah. program yeah. and you apply for it as you might for social security, oh, okay. that type of thing. But um, it's so worth it no so that you no don't have to worry about yeah, I just wondered if they look at your financial and say you don't qualify for Yet, but but at some point you would, you know you can go in and you do what's called a spend down on your your income assets, and then when you reach a point where you deplete it to a certain degree, then this program kicks in. Okay, I take care of you. So to even fiduciaries out there now that it used to be a historical aspect of getting all taxes, you had to spend down to like twenty thousand dollars or something. You don't, you don't have to lose your home. You don't have to That's lose right. your car anymore. That's they right. have ways of protecting your assets so you can keep those and still get money from the state. Absolutely. Absolute preservation. Thank you, Jim. Yeah. But but that's there's so much information out there. And I, I want to look back to our Zoom people for a second because I know we've been all caught up talking here in the room. Does anyone there have a question or something to share? That Ellen or Donna or Mary, anything? Oh, you're still on mute, Mary. We're waiting to hear. We can, we see you're trying, but there we go. This has been extremely interesting. I, I'm just beginning to explore this type of thing. So I don't have anything to add, but I appreciate all the information that you've had. Thank you, Mary. And, and really that's what it's all about is aging can feel like things are getting out of control and that you don't know where to turn. And then that's why we wanna talk about it. There's ways to navigate through all of this and yes. truly Benavi is the best place to start. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for doing this program. Oh, My pleasure. It. Thank you. I appreciate it, Mary. And good luck okay. to you.